live again. Friends, I just wanted to share something with you today. It's going to be real quick and easy, and I've kind of already cheated, but it's something that you might want to do with and use up some of these extra scraps of craft foam that you have or craft uh, styrofoam that you have. Who's all joining in? Who's crafting with me tonight? I know Elenita was here, Anna, uh, Jessica. Oopsie Daisy's on. Hi, Oopsie Daisy. Yay. And I know Elsa and Emery are watching. Friends, I get so excited when I see everybody's names. Oh, you just don't know how happy you make my heart. Debbie Williams. Oh, Debbie Williams. Debbie Cupcakes. My Debbie Cupcakes. Friends, <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a secret to and a reason why we call Debbie Debbie Cupcakes. My husband is an enabler. He likes to send her uh, little sweet Debbie cakes. <laughs> Tanya from South Carolina. Hi, Tanya from South Carolina. Friends from all over, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's see. Nancy Ramos was earlier on. Uh, Candy. Candy was here as well. Hey, friends. I'm so glad y'all jumped on real quick. Stardust Garden is wondering if he just found you and he's wondering what you do. I make all kinds of crafts and I make a lot of racket, friends. And I'm, I'm uh, a little bit nutty and a little bit forgetful, but I love to craft and share uh, my ideas with all of y'all. Uh, friends, I just wanted to mention one thing. Um, I've already got a lot of this done because I was looking for another craft that I was going to make today and I ran across these little bats that were already base coated and ready to go. And I thought, well, how many of us have this extra styrofoam laying around? Look, all I did was I cut with, this is just a regular kitchen knife. I cut the bat out. Well, of course, I had a, a cutting board on the bottom. And then I just use a little piece of sanding paper. I do this outside. But it was so hot, I, I cut one and I didn't want to cut another one. And anyway, I just wanted to share this with you because how many of us have a ton of scrapbook paper as well? O-M-G, me, friends. So with this craft, this little bat, you can use your, it doesn't take much to make him. You can use your styrofoam pieces and you can also use your scrapbook paper. And he is adorable. I that, just love him. Bat? Well, yeah, what'd you think oh, it was? Okay. <laughs> My Hanito is doing the filming. I'm not an early riser. <laughs> That's okay. Friends, um, okay, so after I cut him out, I just painted it and sprinkled it with glitter. And the colors that I think I used on this that was already ready was, is grape, Concord grape, apple barrel, and then it's sprinkled with Midnight Gem. And look how pretty, oh my goodness. After you paint him and uh, sprinkle him with glitter, I only do one coat. What are you laughing about? Uh, Elsa said, hello, Juanito. Juanito. It's, it's Juanito. It's Juanito. <laughs> uh, okay, friends. I've got some. <laughs> I'm going to hang some, but I'm also going to put a straw on one. I, uh, on this one, I'm going to put the, the little hanger on it. And by the way, this is a little centerpiece that I made last year to go on, on my island bar. And I just love it. I know it's missing a bat on the other side, but I think I gave it away to somebody. So anyway, I needed to make some bats for y'all. I'm just going to put a dot of hot glue right here. And this is just fishing, fishing, is it fishing wire or fishing line? Uh, fishing line. Fishing line. And you can get this at Walmart. It's very inexpensive and it lasts forever. And I think I'm just going to give it a little bit. Uh, I know y'all can't see it, but I'm going to let it have a little. Who was the, the person that was asking what I made? Uh, that was new? The brand new viewer from Parts Unknown, because I didn't catch <laughs> the name. Sorry. 
friend. Welcome. We're so glad you're here. All right, I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. And just put a little hot glue on there. That's the back. All right, see how it's got the little handle so it'll hang? I'm going to set it aside. And I'm going to show you, uh, I picked this color scrapbook. This is scrap, this came in a package that a friend gave to me that had all kinds of different uh, Halloween pages in it. And of course, they're little eight by 10. They're not the big ones. But let me tell you how it works for me. I just fold it in half if it's an eight by 10. And then I use my little cutting tool here because I, I kind of measured, I'll measure for you. I'll upload the pattern for you and also the dimensions. And um, I'll do that after we film. I'll do that tonight. After supper. After supper, after we feed my Janito. Well, why does everything give me a hard time when I'm on? And look, it didn't even cut all the way. I guess it's kind of wore out. All my stuff is tired. I'm a big scrapbooker, although I'm a little behind. But I totally use all my stuff. Okay, so let me get rid of this for right now. All right, I had to look at this one to figure out. It's going to be glued like that. So I'm going to start with the painted side up because this is not painted on both sides. And I'm going to make it into a fan-like motion. Amigos y amiguitas, bienvenidos a mi canal de YouTube. Estoy muy agradecida que están aquí conmigo. Bienvenidos todos. All right, I think I made it. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Five, let's see, that's one, two, three, and then three, four. These are so cute, and they'll be so cute in any of your uh, Halloween decorations. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, four. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, five. You got a bunch of viewers. Hey, friends, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I was feeling a little wonky. I was afraid I wasn't going to make it this afternoon. I was out in that heat yesterday, in and out from the heat to the inside the stores and buildings. And I think between the heat and the air conditioning hitting me, I kind of felt like I was getting a cold or something. And I'm never sick. Knock on wood. One, two, three, four, one more. And you need a glass of wine. <laughs> Not while I'm crafting. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Not while I'm crafting. Oh, my goodness. All right, so it's got one, two, three, four. It doesn't have five yet. Robin's bit bison. Hi, yeah. Robin. Hi, Joanne. She's so cute. She's just precious. Y'all need to check loves her. Your earrings. My earrings were a gift from my sweet friend, uh, Cynthia Way. I love them. They're little bats. Uh, it's kind of uh, on, um, what do you call that? Resin. They're so cute. Two, three, four, five. All right, I just have a little bit of a lip here that I'm going to trim. Friends, it just, you can't go wrong doing this. Just just do the best you can. 
I don't, didn't exactly remember how I made this last year, but when I saw it and I saw that I had some base coated and ready to go, I thought, I need to share this with you because I didn't share it with you last year. And I also am going to share with you what to do with those extra smaller pieces of leftover styrofoam. Okay, so after I did that, folded it in a fan-like motion, one, two, three, four, five. I fold it in the middle, whoops, and then I'm gonna grab the glue gun. Is anybody asking anything? Anybody else coming in? There's a bunch of them. A lot of them are just talking amongst themselves. That's what you always say, and then I read all the comments. Sandra Buck Buckley. Hi, Sandra. Hi, friends. Okay, tomorrow, friends, Hanita, what time are we going to come on to do a Facebook Live, not a YouTube? Tomorrow? Yeah, but we got to do it during the day because we have an outing at night. Yeah, we got we got to go out and eat. Uh. <laughs> we have to have our date. Um, Probably one, maybe. Maybe. Because we got to practice, because we already forgot how On to Facebook? do Facebook Live. Uh, give me a second. Yes, we can do one o'clock tomorrow. Okay, friends, I'll send out a reminder. We'll do a Facebook Live tomorrow at one o'clock, and you can watch it on uh, Crafting with Joanne Barandi on my uh, Facebook group page. Cent Central. Oh, yeah, 1 o'clock Central Standard Time. Okay, and what I usually do Ooh. is I take that end and line it up with that end right there. And then I'm going to glue it. Okay, let's do that. Somebody wants to see your earrings real quick again. Aren't they cute? Yeah. I love them. Oh, I have some wonderful friends that take care of me, and they know I like to wear... Uh, seasonal earrings. Thank you, friends. Yesterday that we came in, we were gone. We had to go, we had dental appointments and shopping and stuff to do in town. And uh, when I came back in, when we came back home, there was three packages at our gate. And I was so excited. And I'm so grateful and thankful for your love. and your support. And I'll be showing that, what I got. It's, I'm so excited. Y'all always take care of me. See how easy that goes on there? And see how it's still not, it's, it's not fanning, fan-like, it's still goofy. You just grab a dot of glue and you keep on going, get all of them. Are you getting this, Hanito? I'm getting every scene. You're kind of quiet today. I'm kind of worried. Uh, I'll get I'm, rid of I'm, these threads here in a minute. I'm just mesmerized. <laughs> Amy uh, says hello. Hi, Grant Amy. And Hanito. Hi, you right. Amy. You made my heart so happy yesterday. You and Kenneth and Yanira, and I was feeling, I got to feeling bad yesterday when we came in. Like I said, I think it was a, a matter of just going in and out of buildings, the heat outside. It was so hot. How hot was it yesterday? 105. It was 105 yeah. degrees. It's, it's hot everywhere. I know, but then we would go into a building and it would be freezing. Yeah. Okay, so see how cute that looks already? And you've got your little hanging deal. Oh, I like these things. This one's going to look so cute once we detail it. All right, let me get this out of the way. Let's go with the next one. Make sure it's the same size. Yes. Lenore from Florida says hello. Hi, Florida peeps. How's it going? I bet it's hot in Florida. Okay, here we go. One. How many of you think you'll make one of these? Be 
These are so cute. They're a must. It would look cute on a garland too, or in my Halloween tree. And if we put a, a little stick on it, a cute plant pick or stick on a pumpkin or something. Two, three, four. Is my friend Indiana Jones on? Who, uh, East is Florida? East is Florida. Yeah. One, East two, three, four. Two, three. Valerie from California. Hi, I Valerie! All right, here's one more. Should have had these. Oh, I had that one ready, but I started with this one. <laughs> well, I had to explain the process, so here we go, friends. I know it's kind of goofy, but it'll be okay. And on this one, the white is showing, so I'm going to start with this right here. Again, fold it in the middle. It's 70 in Lima, Ohio, I think. Lima? Oh, Lima, Lima, Lima? Lima? I think it says Lima. If it's wow, in Ohio. It's 70? Man. I'd love to be up there. Is Jessica on? Jessica with um, Jessica's party decor and more. My friend from Fort Worth. <coughs> they might have went by there. <laughs> There's too many, too many comments. Uh, All righty. Okay, this is the back I'm right. Because I have been known to mess up, like right here. Let's do this. Ah! That's not right. Hanito, you're supposed to be helping me out. Uh, I am. I'm holding the camera. <laughs> you're supposed to be telling me that's upside down. <laughs> it's hard to get a good help. And again, just... You're doing great. You didn't mess up, just put more glue on it. <laughs> or more glitter. Amy says, I'm mesmerized. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. I need that. Amy. <laughs> and Debbie says, blind leading the blind. Thank you, Amy, uh, Debbie. <laughs> we'll remind you, Debbie. <laughs> ah. Debbie always comes through. Yes, she does. All these threads. I need to put them in the freezer, the glue sticks, like my friend advised me to do. I think the ladies are getting it right. They're calling me honey toad now. Oh, okay. It's, it's Juanito. Yeah, I noticed that some or, people were calling you Juanito. <laughs> or, or Honey Toad. It's uh, all right. He'll respond. Right. As long as they call me for supper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he loves to eat. And he gains no weight. Okay, friends. The only thing is you do have to hold these a little bit. All right, let me get the middle part here. That's what takes the longest. All right. It's looking cute already. How many of you have all 
just extra little pieces like this of styrofoam that you put in a box because you don't want to throw away. Just think, friends, I think I cut these, I think I cut these out with a cookie cutter. I got a piece of wood and I just pressed the cookie cutter down because I know I didn't cut these out with a hot knife. So don't throw these pieces away. Save them. And look what you can make. All right, here he goes. Tamara says, what is your favorite holiday? Christmas. 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 I love Christmas. Yeah. Not Halloween. I love Halloween too, but not as much as Christmas. And Easter. Well, Easter is the most important holiday for me for as, a, as a family, but I love crafting e Christmas. Mm, look at that. Mm. That's cute. Okay, so now we're going to detail the face. It's going to be so quick so and easy. So it's supposed to look like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let it's me explain to you about color. the eyes. Oh, well, honey, it is a different color, but it's the same concept. Okay. <laughs> All right. I picked up this little box of... Um, accessories that you sprinkles that you put on your real cupcakes and cakes and stuff but I never used it for my real stuff uh, so I've used the eyes and these have been on there and they stay pretty good ants don't get them so guess what this little guy is getting some orange color ones happy child is asking how the glue sticks are affected in the freezer What's the purpose behind that? Well, they don't have the long threads. It's what my friend Jessica said. It, it's, they're a lot calmer. So I'm going to try it and we'll find out. Your yeah. viewers have inquiring minds. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to use the orange ones. Yes, the orange ones. And the way I, I glue those down, let me use some black. How far down about this? You can use squiggly eyes. You can just make eyes with, with this, the, uh, the slick paint. That's like glue for these little eyes. You can make these out of clay as well. Somebody's asking when I'm going to start my cookie channel. <laughs> Your cooking channel? <laughs> cookie. A cookie channel. It's something about cookies. I know how to eat them. You <laughs> cookies. <laughs> I don't think you want to eat my cookies because I don't think I'm a very good Why cook. Why is that one not staying? You know, I'm the one that likes to bake uh, the cookies. Uh, cookies. Yeah. Especially yeah. the homemade ones. Which I only cook occasionally homemade ones. All right, then I've got the red red tulip slick and I'm going to make his mouth. And it's upside down and you're doing it right. Well, it's kind mm -hmm. of sleep upside down, don't they? <laughs> Cheryl, oh, he's going to be so Cheryl cute. Cheryl is from Northern Illinois. Hi, Cheryl from Northern Illinois. We're so glad you're here, friend. Welcome. And Debbie Williams is from California. Yes, my Debbie Williams is from California. West Jordan, Utah, Christy Erickson. Hi, Christy. I didn't know you were from Utah. Anna Cordes, Washington. Oopsie Daisy. Oopsie Daisy is from where? Washington? I think so. I have white slick up here. Okay, I'm taking a chance. Usually I let the red dry a little bit, but I'm just going to go for it and make the little fangs, and hopefully it'll be all right. There we go. Virginia Beach, Candace Tominelli. Oh, Candace, Virginia Beach. All right. Well, the water's nice and cool. And sharks are out there. Be careful. Mary Hill from New Jersey. Look, friends, look how cute that is. That turned out so cute. 
It is going to be so cute. I'm going to go ahead and these are already ready. I'm just going to glue it because I'm going to put him on a stick. I'm going to leave that right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's your creation. You, you make it what you want it to be. And by the way, friends, I did uh, post the pattern to, what did I do last? Um, mm, I slipped oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the candy corn and the pumpkin yeah, candy, guy. Yeah. Uh, I did post that to uh, the link, the link to the pattern, but it is with the ghost video. So you'll have to go, go and find it. Sorry, friends. It's just my, sometimes my computer acts all crazy and it will not do what I want it to do. But I do know that I can just stick it in the same uh, folder. So this time we had the camera pointing the right direction this time. Yeah, my Hanito last, last video, when I went back to watch it. I had it pointed at my forehead. He had it pointed on his face. I said, oh my goodness, Hanito, you have all your gray hair is showing. <laughs> and your nose, your nostrils. I, I earned those gray hairs. <laughs> Raising those three boys of yours. Of mine, of ours. Uh, Amy's asking, well, was your first YouTube video make? What did you make in your first YouTube video? I made some uh, decorated wine bottles, some Halloween decorated wine bottles, and uh, that's when we lived at the ranch. We were at the ranch, and yeah. and when we went outside to spray the the wine bottles, because I mean that was the day that Eric told me we were going to start my channel, and I wasn't ready, friends, and ready or not, he said we're doing this, so. It was so funny because when we went out to the back, um, to the one past one of the barns, to spray paint the bottles, everybody was out there. The donkeys, the cats, the cats. I'm surprised the <laughs> all, raccoons didn't show up. All my family was like, they were out there, like, "What's going on? What's going on?" And I'm like, "Oh the, no!" The donkeys were out there. Yep, they're in the video. And the cats. And the cats, mm -hmm. yeah. God. It's like everybody followed me out there. Like a zoo. But that's the way it was at the ranch. I kind of miss that, all the animals out there. All right, again. Did you have to hold it a little bit? I think this one's cute. I wasn't sure about the... Uh, scrapbook paper on the wings but on that pattern but it's going to be cute after all so cute very cute all right is this one it needs to stay together Elizabeth said she is fixing to go look for the very first video. <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed. <laughs> oh, I'm almost embarrassed for y'all to see the very first one. And you know what, friends? Guess what I did? I don't know what happened because there's a blooper at the end of the first one where I said, I'm Joanne Brandy here coming at you live from, and I'm like, where are you? <laughs> You got where you live? <laughs> oh like, where was I coming from? <laughs> Eric was laughing, and he said, oh, Mom. And then when he showed it to me, I couldn't stop laughing. Yep, that was the early one. Coming from Hollywood, California. Oh, wow. Who is that? No, no I said you were. Oh. <laughs> you wish. I think it's. We were in Palm Springs the other day. Now it's 115 degrees. Over oh, there. I know. I don't want to live there anymore. Yeah. Beautiful place, though. Okay. Palm Springs. This is so cute. I'm so pleased with this one. See, I also did a green one, um, but I'm not going to decorate it right now. Let's see. I'm going to use the white eyes. Yeah, I think, or the green. Let's see. Ooh, I think, oink. Oink. I think the green ones uh, or the white ones. Let's ask your Which ones, viewers. friends? The white one 
Or the green one. How about a green one and a No. <laughs> no? I knew you were going to say that. No, silly. What are they saying? White or green? They're thinking right now. I think the white. What do you think, Debbie? I think the white. 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 Yeah, I think the white. white. Green. Debbie wants green. Okay, Debbie, I'll make yours in green, okay? Green, green, white, green, green, green. Well, I'll make one with white. green eyes. <laughs> you have to make a green one and a, one green eye and, and a white eye. Green. And I'm putting that slick. Because slick is green. like an adhesive. It'll... Uh, I think the greens are, well, I think it's too late now. Everybody wants green, but... Uh, well, <laughs> Hanito, you should have said so. There's a 15-second time delay. <laughs> All right, let's go with the mouth here, right quick. Friends, don't forget about our epic event on Saturday and Sunday. I, my uh, sh my um, craft. What time is that? It it starts. It starts at 9 o'clock. I've got it posted on my Facebook group page, and I'm going to post it on the community tab. I'm going to be on Saturday. Do what? I, well, I'm not on Saturday. Uh, I'm on Sunday oh. at, I think, 7 o'clock Central Standard seven Time. 7 o'clock. I'm still yeah. asleep. Maybe. I'll have to look it up. You're on. Uh, somebody said you're not. they're not seeing you, but... What do you mean they're not seeing yeah, me? I think they lost uh, their internet, maybe. I'm seeing you on our phone. Is everybody seeing me? <laughs> because I did something goofy. I was trying to change the picture, friends. And then a while ago, when I sat down and looked at it, it there was two other uh, pictures on there, the same thing, but they were like for early this morning. So. I didn't know how to delete it, but I will. But I hope it's not causing an issue for anybody. Look, this guy is going to be on a stick. Oops. Yeah, everybody's still seeing you. Okay, good. Mainly the craft. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Now, oh boy. That one, I think. No, 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 I think I'm going to do this one. All right, let me cut this down. Jessica Red Eyes on there. <gasps> Jessica! Jessica! There's my friend Jessica. We keep saying we're going to get together and... <laughs> yes, Jessica, where's Jessica the, live? The, in Fort Worth. Oh, in Fort Worth. Yeah, she said she wasn't very far from the Mall of the Americans and that Christmas store. Oh, okay. Jessica's going to be one of the presenters, too, the designers. Oh, friends, this is so cute. I can hardly wait. Even though I haven't found my candy corn tree, I guess I'll put it on my black tree. I wouldn't dare send my Hanito up the, to the attic <laughs> to look for it. I could do it. Huh? I could do it. Oh, you're so sweet. Will you go as look long for as it's it? At Home Depot or. Do what now? What am I looking for? My candy corn Christmas tree. I mean, candy corn tree that I bought brand new on sale. Where's it at? You put it up in the attic. I think, because I can't find it anywhere. Look at that, friends. Is that not cute? So cute. That is so cute. You can either hang one or you can put one on a stick. How cute is that? All right, I'm going to show you briefly right quick. Um, after I, I got this down, this I had this up in the closet. Like I said, I used it for a centerpiece in my island bar last year for our Christmas, I mean, our Halloween party. And I noticed it had this right here. And I thought, oh, those so when I was looking I found these two I just put the the decorative stuff on them when I was looking for that craft I found the bats and then I found these also 
that I had started last year, and for some reason I didn't finish. Now on this, uh, I'll give you the dimensions of, um, I think this one, that color's going to go with that. This one goes with this. I'll give you the dimensions on it, because I think I just kind of guesstimated, because I found this with it. <laughs> so this is what I did, friends. I just, I just cut this. Let's see, one, two, three, four, yeah. Any comments, Hanito? Hanito. Hippie child said it's adorable. Oh, you're so sweet. One, two. I think somebody asked me what was your favorite Halloween craft. Oh, I like them all. I like them all. Ghost. Uh, oh, do you know what I was looking for? That's what I was going to do. The reason I, I started doing all this, I mean, found ran across all these because I was going to make the little... A uh, skeleton girl. I made the little mummy boy last year, and I promised y'all the little skeleton girl, and I didn't make her, so I was looking. I couldn't find the pattern, and I thought, well, I did find it after all, but I didn't find the little, the little skeleton girl. She is so cute, but I will, friends. Okay, so... You have somebody from the Philippines. Hi, friends. Welcome from the Philippines. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you. And friends, this is just what I did. I mean, I'll do a little cheat thing for you. I know you will ask me. Mark wants to see the skeleton girl. I know, I've got to find her. I think it's it's in my craft uh, closet. She is adorable. You can see her in some of my beginning videos, I think from two years ago. I decided to start posting um, throwbacks on Thursdays of my old videos, seasonal videos. Okay, what I did where's the pencil i just got a pencil friends and i just made a hole like right there and this is how i measure don't poke yourself <laughs> uh oh be chirping Oh, look how cute. Look how cute is that going to be? I should have done another loop, another. We've all got these little pieces that we don't want to throw away. And like I said, I cut that out. I know I cut it out with a cookie cutter, an aluminum one. I put it on top of the styrofoam like that the cookie cutter on top and then I had a piece of wood and I pressed on the piece of wood and I kind of jumped up and down and lo and behold there it is and I just kind of sanded it and rounded it off a little bit and it worked friends okay now this has to come in order to come this way All right, what's going on here? One, two, three. It goes this way, so I need to make the cut in here. Well, something just did. <laughs> but it's going to be okay, all right? It's going to be, be all right. right. Yep. If it's not, just put more glue on it. More glitter, honey. Oh, more glitter. Yeah. And glue. <laughs> All right, just cut a little angle right there. Okay, now I'm going to glue. I think I'm just going to glue the little 
hold. Amy, what are you working on? Amy's very creative. Um, Is she saying what she's working on? Mm, she's still thinking. <laughs> uh, Some Halloween mummies. Oh, I can't wait to see them. Okay, and if I think these are too long, I'll just trim them, which I think they're too long. One is a little bit longer than the other. Boink. Too stinking cute. Look at that. Don't throw your little pieces of styrofoam away. Look at that. You can make one of these in no time. And that is a... Just a little doodad to put oh, anywhere. Yeah, just a little candy oh. to go there. So, there you go, friends. It doesn't get any easier than that. Make little doodads. <laughs> Make little doodads. I could do those. Yeah. I think. Maybe. Maybe. What am I going to craft tomorrow right quick at 1 o'clock? Doodads. <laughs> doodads. <laughs> I think I'm going to do another one, and I'm going to do a like a... A little longer, another fold in it. They're asking what you're going to do in your event. What kind of a... Oh, I'm making... I can see it in my mind, friends, but I haven't... I've got some things made for it, but I'm making a gingerbread-themed cake, fake, fake cake. So... Um, I hope it comes out cute. I can visualize what I want to do with it. And I started making some of the th accessories for it. But I won't know until I put it all together. I hope it works. Elf on the shelf? Elf on the shelf? No. No elf on the shelf. That's hard to make. <laughs> I've got some real cute gingerbread people and all kinds of other stuff. Okay, so this one's got a little bit more. No, I, how come it comes out with three and I cut it? You're, you're just big. You're asking the cameraman? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not my department. Well, you're supposed to be learning. The craft? Uh, yeah. No, I leave the craft enough to you. Okay. All right. Elsa's asking when I'm, we're going to do this salsita. Oh, the salsa? Look, no. see? That the, is not uh, right. Tomatillo. Tomatillo? When we run out of this last batch, <laughs> we made some. Cuando se los acabe, Elsa, el tomatillo que hicimos, vamos a hacer más. How many of you like tomatillo? I don't think they, that's not a very common. They call it different things, because I noticed that at Real Mambo Restaurant here in Burleson, they call it molcajete or something. Molcajete. I don't know. What, I don't know what they call it. It's like a tomato with a corn, cover on it. With corn husk corn on husk. it. And you peel the corn husk, and but they're hard. They're, they're very hard. Look just like tomatoes. Green tomatoes. Yeah, sort of, kind of. But they don't taste like it. Nope, they don't taste like it. Because we, we cook it with, what do you cook it with? <laughs> we. Uh, you do the onions, onions though. Bell pepper, uh, garlic. No, you don't put bell peppers in those. Or garlic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what no, put bell, no, not bell peppers. That's, that's fajita. <laughs> that's your fajita. You're talking about yeah. your fajita. You put uh, onions, uh, tomatillo, garlic, garlic, and these uh, serrano peppers. They're serrano hot. Peppers. They're hot. Debbie calls it green verde. Sauce. Salsa verde. Yeah, salsa, salsa verde. verde, in other words. But, you know, here in the area that we live in, it's called tomatillo. Yeah, 
it's it's a green sauce instead of the usual. Look at that. That is so red. cute. Let me go ahead and all right, friends, let me just glue this together. It's pretty common around here. I don't know if it's in other places. Um, mainly in Mexican restaurants, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Not all of them, though. No. You have to ask for it. Hippie Child says he loves tomatillo. <gasps> and oh, Hippie tomatillo. Child lives where? California. Cal oh, they have tons of tomatillo. Is my there. friend Kenneth here? He said he was going to try to catch us. Kenneth is AWOL. <laughs> no, he's not. I think. If, oh, you better. Uh, I, hope, I hope he's here and I'm going to spank you. He might be there. I might have missed him. Ken? There's only a only hundred of watching, so. Friends, I'm so grateful to y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Okay, now what are you making? Another one? Another yeah. little doodad? Yeah, and then that's, that's all I'm making. Zari, who does the cooking? Well, I do. He, 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 well, we both do, but he does, he has his specialty and I have my specialty. Well, I have to cook the tomatillos outside on a... Mexican walk. On a walk, <laughs> yeah, like a, a burner, I guess, like a fajita cooker. Look, Francis is so cute. I can't believe it. This is adorable. It's a little bit long. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Go ahead. If you cook it outside, you don't want to cook it inside, I think it... Might well, you much. do if you have a good vent. Our yeah. vent is kind of... It works, but you don't want to turn it on. <laughs> it makes a lot of noise. It makes a lot of noise. But <clears throat> the best place to cook it is outside in a, like a fajita, like you cook fajitas. What he does is he, he uh, washes, he peels the, the, the husk off of the... Um, the, the The tomatillo. And then he... Look at that. That's so cute. Cut them up. Then he cuts them up. Then put a little uh, oil on the fajita. Up. And up, 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 <laughs> he puts up. a little oil and then he, he chops up his onions and then he's got some uh, serrano peppers, two of them, depending on how many. Uh, he usually does 10 or 12 tomatillos uh, cut in wedges. And then he puts in later, um, is it one or two little garlic things? Uh, two. Two, two little, little garlic things. And then, but before he does that, he roasts these other dried up chilies. I forgot what they're called. He, there's two, uh, two or three of them that he does and, until they turn a little dark red. And they're dried up, you know. Uh, I, I don't know what they're called. Them. Yeah, they're we'll make a list like of all that. Like miniature peppers. Yeah, he cooks, he just, mm -hmm. you just kind of flip them because you, you don't want to burn those. They're dry, very dry. Yeah, very dry. Anyway, and then you let that all cool off. And then you put it in your blender after it all cools off, and uh, you put cilantro. That's when oh, you add your cilantro, cilantro and yeah. whip it all up. And yeah, it's ooh, good. doggy. Depending on how hot the serrano peppers are, you know, um, sometimes we have to tone it down. All right, friends, what do you think? Are these not cute? How many of you are going to make some of this? I want to see y'all post some, some of your... Uh, crafts on our Facebook group page. Don't forget, friends, to like, share, and comment. Don't forget. Friends, I think this is going to be all for today. Uh, I know it was fast and furious here, and it's crazy, but um, I'm just glad I made it. I, the way I was feeling this afternoon but I'm good uh, and I'll be here tomorrow at one o'clock I don't know exactly what we're gonna do Hanita what are we gonna do we'll think of something uh, uh, do that <laughs> do that anyway a big do that friends Not the little one thank you all for your love and support and for taking time to watch us live I appreciate you so much uh, not this week because I've got that event coming up and everything, but starting next week, I'll have, I'll have two giveaways to give away, one on Facebook group page and one on uh, our next live next week. Meanwhile, I will see you tomorrow on Facebook Live. Friends, 
don't forget, be kind, love one another, and keep on doing what makes you fabulous. Love you, friends, sending you crafty hugs because they're the best. Hugs, hugs, little hugs, big hugs. Bye, friends.